Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Let me introduce myself if you're new here. Welcome, my name is Margaret. I am from the Netherlands. That's why I have a funny accent. Uh, and I am a paper crafting, junk journal making, vintage treasure hunter. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to do a wonderful video today. Well, I hope so. Uh, I've been looking forward to this one for, well, a couple of weeks. I want to make labels. I have made labels and I love them and you love them. But I want to make round ones today. So this is the day that we're going to make round labels. In case you haven't seen um, one of the other two videos that I made making labels, let me show you what they are sort of going to look like, but then they're going to be round. I don't have any left from the first video. No, I used them all up, uh, but I have this. Oh, look at this cute little box. I have, um, well, some of them less left from sort of last video. Yeah, I love them. I embellished them this time with lace and uh, other stuff. Oh, I love this one. Look at that. Still my favorite. I made this into sort of a charm. Yeah, because it's on both sides. And I embellished them. This is a piece of a game. And with a button and a butterfly. Love them, love them, love them. So now I'm going to make round ones. Uh, let me show you the supplies that I am going to use today. I have the tools and the papers. I'm going to start with the tools. And I have lots of alternatives just in case you don't have, well... Let's say these circle punches. <clears throat> I have three circle punches, a two in, two and a half inch, a two inch, and a one and a half inch. I also have something smaller, uh, but I'm not going to go that small. I am probably going to use a lot um, of these today, but if you don't have those, you can also use die cuts if you have them. <clears throat> I've chosen this one. I think I'm going to use this one. I think it would look lovely. This one, another circular one, and I also have these ovals. I'm going to be cheeky and use the ovals as well. So I'm going to have not only circular labels, but also the oval ones. That are, yeah, I'm going to, it's going to be great. Now, <clears throat> if you don't have uh, these punches or a die cut machine thingy, other things that you can use. I've had this one. I am rubbish. Let me tell you, I am rubbish at cutting circles. So <clears throat> I am I'm, uh, looking for ways to avoid cutting them. This I bought at Action. It's sort of like you put this in the paper and this is sort of the diameter of the circle. I don't really know how it works. And this is a blade. So you put it in a circle and then you sort of spin it around some way. Doesn't really work for me. But again, I'm rubbish at this. It might work for you. I do not know what the name of this is in English. I should have looked it up, but I've been busy all morning. In the Netherlands, it's called a passer. Um, again, pointy stuff and sort of a pencil point, And then you draw perfect circles. You know what this is. You've been in school, right? And then, and then you cut them out. So... These are sort of the alternatives that you can use. If you don't have this, but want to make round circular things, put a glass, put a glass on it and then draw a circle around it with uh, your pencil. Be creative. It'll work out. Now for the papers. Now for the papers, I'm going to use lots of different things. I'm going to use a lot of vintage ephemera because I need to start using it. <clears throat> so I have these sort of old uh, postcards. Yeah, uh, and they have interesting parts on them. So I want to use this. It's a piece of a, a vintage envelope. I think I want to use that. piece of vellum that I embossed on. I'm just going to pick out different stuff. This is a vintage wallpaper, very old. This is from a game. Book pages. Coffee dyed. Some pieces of... Uh, well, this was one of my uh, collages. You know. Just use them. <coughs> Guys, I must apologize. <coughs> I'm coming out down with a bit of a cold, I guess. So I keep sort of coughing. I, I do apologize. Piece of ledger. My numbers. I'm going to love using this one. Yeah, I'm going to use it. Some, even some Edith Holden. So yeah, I'm going to use all sorts. Yeah, and you can use all sorts. What I'm also going to use, because these are a little bit um, thinner in material. Most of them. I'm also going to use some scrapbook paper. I have 
uh, in my possession for a couple of months now because I bought this at Creadu, which is sort of a creative, um, let's say, convention, fair, I don't know what to call it. <clears throat> I have these two uh, packs by Craft O'Clock. This is Blue Mood. It's an 8x8 and it has four sets of the same six sheets. Yeah, so I've taken out one set. They are lovely. And then this is Rays of Sunshine. Rays of Sunshine. Again, by Craft O'Clock. I think these are still available. So, if you really like them. I'm also perhaps going to use... This is one of my own collages that I made. A big one. Um, I did not put this up uh, as a freebie or in my coffee shop. Don't know about uh, if I can do that. Well, maybe someday. But what I can do... Yes. And you've been waiting for this because I have promised you another kit uh, on my Kofi site. This is another digital kit. Let me show you. I'm very excited. Here's the kit. Guys, I've taken a cough drop. So if you hear some smacking, I'm sorry. That's, <laughs> that's me. It is five pages. Five. Yeah. I believe the last one was like three or four. So it's five pages. I am going to use today because, oh, I love it. I love it. Uh, it has on here some... Uh, vintage letters, receipts, cards, ledger, all sorts. So I scanned everything and then I put it together on a sheet. These are small sort of uh, captions of a certain piece of ephemera that I really, really like and prefer to use again and again. So what I did, I'm hoping you guys are like me. I just scanned them and then sort of resized them. So you have two of these, like, small labels. Yeah. And then the mark with the post stamps. I really like that. Then I have this one. This is an envelope. You could sort of cut it out and use it as an envelope, I guess. Well, be creative. I'm going to try to make something this week that looks like an envelope with this. Um, these round labels, I love them. Use them all the time. Again, these are two sort of uh, little aspects from other pieces that I have. This is a piece of ledger. Love it, love it, love it. Another one of those round labels. I'm going to use them. Yes, I am. Big sort of receipt from 1921. Love it. This is a letter with a very fine print. It was in German. Uh, and this is the back. So maybe you could do some. I don't know if that will work. But I'm going to make something with this. Another sort of interesting piece here. Um, yes, a postcard. The front and the back. And not a, and I made labels with these. Let me show you um, what I did. I love this. And I love this. So I made these. Yeah, that's what I made. So you can use them. And the last one is this one. Ah, uh, This is where I was born. Not in 1910. I'm old, but I'm not that old. <laughs> but I would love use, using these. And this and this one. And these are digitals. Yes, these printables. So you can use them again and again and again so this is going to be a set i don't know how i'm going to name it probably vintage ephemera part two or something like that but i am going to use it will be on my kofi and i will link that below now let's start making circles just like with the other uh, labels we need two layers so we need to make two circles i'm going to make one circle a little bit bigger than the other one just, you know, like this effect. We made one sort of rectangle and then put in another smaller one. Hence, <laughs> hence the different um, sort of punches that I have. They all sort of um, are, this is two and a half, two and one and a half. So they're a half an inch smaller than the other one. Yeah, I already used my die cuts off camera for you guys. Again, these are a little bit smaller than the other one. See, when you put this in here, it sticks a little bit out. But this one is a little bit bigger than the two and a half inch one. So we'll manage, we'll manage. So I have different sizes, different shapes. I'm, I'm so happy how this came out. Look at this. Yeah, and then you put some of, yes, preview this in. That looks amazing, so. Really happy with the oval ones. So I did use my die cuts and also um, did some, you know, I needed to practice uh, some of the circles for normal book pages. 
and with some images, some maps. It's really, really lovely. So I think it will work out great. I took out some of the scrapbook paper. This is um, on 160 or 180 uh, grams cardstock. And I've printed this out as well on 180 or 160, one or the other. So I'm going to use my own. Yeah. And, uh, well, and some of this. Let's just start with the scrapbooks. I'm using the big one. Two and a half inches. And I'm just going to cut a circle. Like so. Ta-da! Here's one. Should we do a smaller one as well? Mm, no, not in this one. Let's do a smaller one from this bit. There you go. A bigger one from this one. Yeah, it's going to be lovely. I tell you now, it's going to be just wonderful. I already know. I already know. Therapeutic, as they say. Let's do some with these. Oh, lovely flowers. They're probably not even going to be on here. Yes, if I use the two inch circle punch this is going to be the layer on top and this one's going to be the layer in the back yeah also gonna have all this oh yeah with the big red one lovely let's see what else do we have oh yes i have these these ones i do not want these to be in the background so i am taking My two inch circle punch. Do you want this in the background? No. Um, I'm gonna do it like so. Because maybe the two and a half inch. See? Oh, that is beautiful. That is wonderful. I'm just punching random stuff, guys. There's no rhyme or reason to this. I'm trying to like, yeah, you need to do this because, you know, no, just punch circles. It'll figure out itself. Probably. Will this fit? Oh, look at that. Ta-da. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Bigger one. And now you can see sort of my digitals. And I can finally use them. Yes, I'm not using um, all of these that I've scanned. I'm not using the original ones. These are really, really pretty. There you go. So cute. Yeah. What do we have here? I think this won't fit the punch. Unfortunately. Maybe it will. Maybe it will. already cut some of these out. I'm going to dec decorate with them. Aren't these wonderful? I just love them. Um, will it fit? Yes. Yes, it will. Come out. Beautiful. And let's do one here. Am I going to use all of them? Yes. Yeah, especially this one. That is so cool. I'm going to use the big punch for this. Doesn't fit. No, of course it doesn't. I'm just snipping them. You don't have to be careful because we're going to use this. Love it. Love it. Love it. I'm not going to do anything on top of that. So I'm probably... I'm going to snip a bit off. Don't worry, I can I can uh, print them again. That's why I like using with dig uh, working with digitals. Is that great or is it? Oh, yes. With a little gnome on top. Don't even know what it is. Cute, cute, cute. Do I have another one? Yes, you have loads. I have loads. I also have this one. Um, 
is that the size of the bigger punch hopefully let's see yes it is smaller one will it fit it will i love this not as a background there's one on top yes there you go do we love this well apparently we do great what about these did i make these to size <laughs> no it's a little bit too, too small is this too big and i think this is too big way too big way too big lovey but that's okay i'm gonna use it anyway we're gonna lose just a bit of something I'm also going to use some of these, not in circles, but some elements I'm going to decorate with. Let's see how many circles I have. And I will punch some more um, off camera. Then we'll see all the circles. I have so many circles now. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I have, I've made piles with different ones. See, they're all sort of gradually going bigger or smaller and a couple just a couple of these ones i love these but i'm not gonna make a whole new video on oval ones are you no no let's let's not do that so what i want to do now is sort of pair them together yeah so let's take the scalloped ones then the scalloped ones work really well with these so i'm just gonna look for something that will work nicely with with one of these Or like a map oh yes i like this see i like this so i'm gonna you know pair them together a uh, blue one and what do we want something like this has some blue on it works well for me how about this one with florals yep then a map one of these no or some numbers oh yeah that's nice let's see because i also have these these also work really well with these ones that a bit too busy i really want to use this one oh this one yes definitely this one what else do we have this is some real ledger paper is that lovely or with flowers yes and this one i am excited i am so happy this makes me really happy we need one of these on here but where well let's do it on a floral yes i like so Okay, now we have these, all of these left, and we need to pair them with these. <laughs> Cute, right? So we put a floral on here. But you will lose this. Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking gonna switch these out yeah because i do not want to lose this what else do we have a beautiful sort of yeah thank you and this one what else do we have oh that's so lovely and with this one definitely that one Um, I have some wood. What goes well? Oh, I have so many pretty ones. So many. Yep. Um, I have this blue one. Do I have something smaller? 
with blue. Ooh, Edith Holden. I'm gonna pair that with blue. Well, lighter blue, lighter blue. Apparently I am. And then let's do some smaller ones as well. <laughs> it's gonna be messy. Oh, I love this one. This one needs to be on top of something. Of what? Well, of this. No, this needs to be on top of this. We don't want to keep this. Then this is going to be on top of this. I have so many already. You have so many already, love. Let's see. Something like this with some florals. Perfect. And oh, I didn't use this one. Can I have something small on here? This is from the same piece of paper, so no. What's behind here? Oh, that's cute. You want this? We want this. I have a gazillion now. Yes. Um, what I'm going to do, I am going to keep these all of these. I'm going to ink all of them. Off camera, guys, because, you know, that'll take a while. And um, glue them on. And then I'll be back. I glued most of them, but some of them, um, I wanted to add something else. So I thought I, thought I might wait. Yes. Um, some of them, I want to have three layers. Yeah. So layer one. And then we're going to have this as layer two. Because why not? We have different ones. Yeah. So I just wanted to show you what I did. And also um, on my desk is a small envelope. And in that envelope, is that upside down? Sure. I have these doilies. Guess what? They are round. So I was thinking to do this. Does that look good? <laughs> I think so. I think this looks great. So I think I'm going to glue it like so. Put glue on this circle. Then put this one on there yes and then add a little bit more glue just some dots here and there i'm not going to bother with the the outer part this one with the edge it'll stay on there see like so is that cute? Yeah, well, I need to sort of press it because it's not really gluing. But it'll be fine. I also thought I might do it with this one. These are all. This is already glued together. And this one and this one. I'm going to do the same trick. I think so. There. Is this in the middle? I guess it is. I'm adding a little bit more glue because the other one didn't really want to be stuck down. Mm, let's have it like so. Ooh, this one is pretty. Doesn't need anything else. Maybe a label, maybe not. Do you like it? Oh, I love them. Love them, love them, love them. Uh, I'm just going to put this on top of, of the label because this one was already glued. Oh, I do not like gluing these. I love them, but the gluing part is, yeah, tedious, to say the least. There you go. Hopefully it will stay on. There's a bit of this, like, hot pink over here. So I want to mimic it with this one. Oh, yeah, so lovely. So lovely. Great. Perfect. Well, I have some more. I'm going to do this like so. And I'm going to do this one just on top of it. Will that work? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's see. This is map on the scrapbook paper. And this is one of Sandra's doilies. Am I going to do this trick? Sort of dabbing glue on. Hopefully this stays. Or I'm going to do this trick. There you go. 
that's another trick. Um, I'm gonna have this darker part over here. Oh, it's amazing. Do you like it? I love it. Now, <clears throat> let's get out my bits and bobs and start decorating. I've taken out my bits and bobs, and with bits and bobs, I mean um, the Sandra sticker labels. I have that. I have some poster stamps. And this is actually a box that I have on my desk. And every time a project is done and I have some small bits and bobs, yeah, I put them in here. So this is like a sort of treasure with, with all sorts. There's like Tracy Fox labels in here, some stickers, some Tim Holtz thingies, some things I printed. So yeah, lots of lovely ones. So I'm thinking I want to use some of these. Oh, there's also one of the lady stickers in here, a green one. Does that look nice? Let's see if we can find a spot for the green lady. How about here? Yeah. And then a small label. A small label. Also in green. Maybe a bigger label. This one underneath. Yes, like so. Oh, guys, um, I made two. This one that I did both sides. So I'm going to put an eyelet in. It's going to be a dangle. Just decided. Perfect. Am I going to ink the label? No, I'm not. I don't need to ink the label. It's just fine. Oh, this was is uh, of one of my digitals. Just you know, I'm just saying they're lovely. She doesn't really fit on here. However, what I'm gonna do. I am going to give her a haircut. <laughs> I'm just going to sort of cut off the white. These are washi stickers. These are transparent. Once you take the backings off, they are transparent. But I'm just taking off a piece of the white edge. Sort of fussy cutting. Oh, I have so many of these round labels. I made a lot. I still have a lot of circles left. So I could basically make more if I want to. Does she fit on now? Mm, uh, sort of. Sort of. I think she will lose um, her toes. <laughs> there you go. Let's see, because I do want to leave her head on. There you go. Oh, just, you know, the tiniest bit of your toe, love. There you go. Cute. Let's do another one. Oh, I have these. These are rather blank. So I was thinking, um, oh, sort of a label on here. Maybe something like this. No, I want something blue with this. Oh, that looks nice. Yes, I'm going to round the corners though. See, I'm making my own labels. I am, however, inking it. It is too big, so I will lose a little bit, I guess. Probably. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Or, or you can just have it stick out. I'm just going to have it stick out. Yeah. You know, it's my rules. Today, they're my rules. Let's have it stick out. Why don't we? I'm using art for this because less messy and quicker and, you know, and such. Oh, yeah. Lovely. We made another one. How about this one? Doesn't need a lot. Small label. I'm guessing Sandra has some sort of darker brown or black ones. Or do we need to repeat the red? Yes. Doing this one. Yeah? Yeah. Very 
very handy lead labels. Um, another sort of blank one. What do we want on here? Like this. Well, that's almost the same color, love. Let's do a sort of a different color. I also have these books. Oh, no. Love, you have the whole box here. Pick something from your box. What is this? It's a globe. No. No. Not a doily. Ooh. This is a Tim Holtz sort of thing. Probably. I think so. It is rather heavy, but it does look really nice. Doesn't it? And then with a small label behind it. Yes. And I'm using up Tim Holtz stuff. Well, I think this is Tim Holtz, but I do not know for sure. Could be something completely different, but I don't think so. So I'm going to have this over here. I am going to use this glue because it's very heavy. It's sort of chipboard or how do you call it? How do you call it? Fantastic, isn't it? Oh yes, I love it, love it, love it. Another big one has some florals in the background. Shall we do put some florals on? I have some floral stickers. Something like this. Do not do I not have any florals in here? I do. Oh, I have a pink one. Is that cute? I think so. It does need something else though. Like what? Like a label in purple? Do we have anything sort of pinkish? Oh, this looks pinkish enough. Yes. I'll probably get a lot of questions about how you're going to use them. Well, I use them all the time. You know, as a decoration, as a decoration or something. Yeah. Oh, this one's so lovely. I hate to do something with this that doesn't make it lovely anymore. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with this. <clears throat> I'm just going to kiss it. It's done. <laughs> Sometimes they're just done. Another one with some florals. Ooh, fragile. Handle with care. Do we have something that can handle this one? Yes. Oh yeah, for sure. Gonna have it stick out like so. There you go. This one's done. I'm not going to change it. Well, you, we were thinking about adding a label. I was. But I'm not gonna. No, this is sort of purplish. This needs something, doesn't it? Yes. Let's have a look what we're going to have on here. I found another Tim Holtz sort of people thingy. Yeah, I want to have it on here. It will stick out, but that's okay. I'm going to have this underneath. Sort of. Like so. Yeah, let's do that. What I did, guys, um, off camera, I put stuff together. Because I really want to finish them all on camera with you guys. But, you know, going through my boxes for three and a half hours will not make it go any faster. No. Oh, I do love this. So cute. Very, very cute. It's almost like clusters. It's more like clusters now. I know. I realize it's more like clusters. I'm not going to have this go off the page. I will trim it. I found a beautiful uh, purple label with... Um, no, there's purple in here. Everywhere, basically. I 
thought that would look nice. We cannot flip it over because it is a circle. Lovely. Little bit of inking. There you go. For this one, I have found another sticker, a washi sticker with like a brownish sort of perfume bottle, I guess, a perfume bottle. Which is the back and which is the front? Oh, found out soon enough. There you go. Lovely. Does it need anything else? No. Don't touch it again. I have this one. I've been struggling with this one because I love it the way it is. Uh, but I wanted to add a little bit more blue. So I was thinking just a postage stamp from India. I will have it go off the page. Over here like so. That's just fine. Of course there's a sticker on here now. Yeah. Good. This one. This one was with three layers and then on both sides. I'm struggling, uh, struggling a little bit with this one because, you know, it already has sort of a focal point. It has some purplish in here, so we could do the same. But isn't that a bit boring? Let me think about this one still. Then I found these little birds. I, I got these in Happy Mail the other day. And I think it'll look lovely. Just, just you know, add a bird and a Trace Fox label. This goes here, and then the bird goes there. I thought there might be stickers, but I don't think so. So I'm just using glue. Gonna have these stick out a little bit, but that's okay. Cute, right? I found one more of these coffee stain um, washies. Shall we have a coffee stain on here? Sure. Why not? I'm using up lots of stuff again. Yeah. Found another thread. Yeah. <laughs> it's a die cut. I got this in Happy Mail because I don't have this die cut. And I thought he might look nice on, yeah, but he's missing. He's missing something. Yes, this was not planned. I just, you know, thought he's missing something. He's rather plain, so I'm going to stamp him with something. With script. Of course, I'm going to use script on here. I think it'll make him look more interesting. Oh, this one's almost done. I have a re-ink for this, right? I think so. But it is almost done. There you go, Fred. See? Makes him look a little bit more interesting. Otherwise, you'd be boring. Yep. Much nicer. Gluing his little legs. Oops. See, the bug is jumping. Yes, cute. What else do we have? Um, this is like um, a map piece with lots of water. So I was thinking, let's have a seagull on here with sort of a tiny bit of a label behind here because, you know, it's a label. Yep. 
lovely for a travel journal. You think so? Yeah, I think so. Oh, I found something for this one. The one that I really love. But I do love this bird. It's a crow, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm going to have this on here. Using a post stamp as sort of a background from Denmark. Yeah. Oopsie. I think I must apologize again. Again, you are so apologetic. Lovely. Yes, because this video is going to be on much later than you're um, used from me. Yeah. Because I haven't, I'm having so much trouble uploading at the moment with YouTube. Something's wrong somewhere. It takes about six hours now. <laughs> That's ridiculous. But hey. Oh, yeah, I have a label here. Please quote. Okay. Oh, well, we're quoting. We're quoting. It's just a simple one. And then this one that I really, really loved. I was thinking just to have this label on here. It doesn't need anything else. So it's going to be on, um, I'm guessing, in the Netherlands after 10 o'clock. Hopefully it will be on, on when it's still Friday. Is there an up or down in here? Mm, yes. So yeah, it's going to be a rather late one. I have another birdie. Yeah? Okay, let's have it on here. But as a bonus, you will have another video tomorrow. Yes, from my enormous mega haul. <laughs> yes, huge. And then this one. I was thinking to have these two on, but this is actually the double one again. So I need to also put something on the back. Don't know what yet, but you know, I think this would look lovely here. And this is also from a Tim Holtz set. Yeah, perfect if I do say so myself. There you go. Uh, do I have more? You yeah, have this one and this one. Just a small blue label. That's all it needs, right? I think so. Was this from... No, no that's not a digital. That's a real piece of vintage ephemera. From a postcard. I don't know, guys. There's a lot of pink in here. I was like, can I put this one on here? What do you think? I don't know. I have it go sort of off the page. Will that work? I'm just going to do it. I don't think I'm going to have it off the page. No. Yeah. It's nice. I like it. So, I still have to do this one, but it has two sides, and this one, the other side. I'm going to look through my stash and do that. And then, I think, guys, uh, we need to go have a look at the end result. And there are two of them. Well, there are these. Yeah, I also need to put an eyelet in and a topper on. Are you guys ready for the end result? I don't even know how many we made. We made a lot. Let's see. Let's start with this one. The lovely lady. Yes. Love it. With scalloped edge. Yeah. Um, it is. You can do something on the other side. Whatever you want. And then with Rotterdam sticking out. Because Rotterdam's always sticking out. <laughs> yeah. Lovely. And this one. This was what, uh, one of my digitals. Yeah. Love it. With little gnome. And then with uh, the Tim Holtz milk. Um bottle cap i believe that's that's it but i do not know for sure do like it we kept this as is because it was just lovely there's some map on the background and then book page a doily and beautiful florals speaking of florals beautiful rose on ledger pretty fragile and with care
so cool yeah this was one that had two sides that i wanted to make into a sort of a dangle yeah that would have worked brilliantly if the other side was sort of you know not like this so yeah i cannot make this into a dangle i do like it though yeah but it's not gonna be a dangle then this one do i want to remove this i'm gonna snip this off just don't know about this one yeah what's sort of thinking do i want this very cute with the doily and then this one with the birdie they're just awesome oh i love this one i love this one one of my favorites simple one sticking out but that can be no problem one of my favorites of course this one yeah i love it and then this for travel journal it's a nice oval with a coffee stain. Love it. Again with a bird. This was a piece from the digital. Yeah. Again with Rotterdam and a stamp. And Fred. Well, it's not, this is not Fred. No. It's his brother. Fritz. Fred and Fritz. <laughs> this is Fritz. Yeah, with the ladies. So cute. Also really like this one. It's simple, but I like it. I love the colors. And then with the purple. Oh yeah, and then I made this one. Isn't that wonderful? No, this is not a label. <laughs> it's not a label at all. It's no, it's a tag now. But I do like it with the black and I put a topper on it. And on the back, it's a it's a completely different style. Yeah. But this, this, I really, really like. Well, how many did they? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Well, seventeen, eighteen, ninety, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-three. Sort of twenty-three. So a lot. Normally we do twelve or something. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. I enjoy making these so much. This is just an idea of what you can do. Maybe you want to um, make them with smaller size um, circles or bigger. Or I do recommend the ovals if you have a punch like this. Use it. And if you want to, of course, you can get the... Um, digitals on Kofi. i will link those below so yeah guys thank you for hanging out with me i enjoyed myself a lot um i'll be back again tomorrow yes it's saturday but i have a bonus video tomorrow tomorrow is going to be uh part one of my vintage um thrifted supplies and sunday is going to be the other part so hope you enjoy those i'll see you tomorrow bye guys